Hi Bill, this is Matt from GeForce Power Sports working on your spider. Um, we've got a couple of things going here. You have almost 22,000 miles and at 19,000 Can-Am wants to replace the air filter and the fuel filters. Um, both look to be original so we should probably do that. The rear brakes were down to about two millimeters left on the inner brake pad. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to see that in the camera. I think that's hopeless, but the, um, the rear brakes are about done. The front brakes still look pretty good. The brake fluid is full although, and shows less than 1% of um, water content. But again, Can-Am thinks that that should be changed every two years. So I'll leave that up to you right now. The, the fluid's actually in very good condition and it's full. We can change it, we cannot. However you wanna do that, um, I would probably be t more tempted to change that when it's time to do the front brakes because it's nicer once we retract the front calipers to get that all done. As far as your headlight goes, um, it actually had a little bit of cloudiness in it. You can kind of see that, which is normally indicates a little bit of an air leak. So I don't think that's a matter of the other bulbs gonna go immediately. I think that was just kind of a ceiling problem with the bulb. Um, tires look good. The alignment looks very good. The front tire wear is super even on it. Um, set the tire pressures and the rest of it should all be I think pretty good one other thing I did change your um, USB port it was um, quite broken <laughs> the new USB port has an interesting habit of it they want the if you see the little USB logo when you plug it in the two ports on this new port are actually backwards of each other so when you plug in your USB cable you want that USB symbol pointing to the outside. So the rear port that points towards the back, the front port, you would turn it around and it would go towards the front. Uh, I seem to be having my problems here being one-handed, but there we go. So basically you want it so the USB symbol on your connector points towards the outside. So the front points forward, the back points backwards, and it should be good. Um, one neat little feature of the new port is it has a voltmeter built into it, so it's kind of handy. You can see how much voltage is going into your USB when it's charging, and then when the, nothing's connected, you can see what the spider is charging at. So that looks like about it.